Hey everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today's routine is cardio mat fusion workout number two. You guys have been asking for a sequel to this one, so here it is, just for you. We don't need any shoes. It's gonna be low impact, but we're gonna keep your heart rate up today. A Little bit of space, you're gonna need a mat towards the end. Maybe a little cushioning if you got a hard floor too. But let's just start off warming up here. We're just taking a little side to side tap and take advantage of the fact that you're barefoot to really start to engage all those muscles in the feet, in the toes, in the arches. Just feel that freedom connecting to the floor without anything in your way. Good. Now we're just gonna plant the feet. We're gonna take a little plie. Arms come down and up. Just kind of cross them down gentle slight plie but the feet are nice and wide here good so we're going to start to add a little bit more through the upper body i want you to really round down lift up good so we're just getting the whole body waking up i want you to feel a smile all the way through your body today from your toes to your fingertips good let's take a little lunge side to side hands can come back to those hips Beautiful. Now we're just going to take one arm and reach out and over using those abdominals gently. We stretch and contract. Good. You got it. Glancing it down. Hands back to those hips. So just lunge as big as you comfortably can. Keep it in the knees out over but not past the toes. Let's switch the arm. Take it down. Stretch it out. Yes, good. So we should start to feel a nice gentle elevation in the heart rate here. Nothing crazy. Feeling the blood flowing. Give me four more here. It's four. Stretch. Three. Two. Give me one more. Let's come back to that plie in the center, rounding forward, down and up. Maybe you feel a little more comfortable dropping a little lower now. It's up to you. But really round through the back. Lift the chest at the top. Take it down and up. That's it. Down and lift. Beautiful. You got it. Take it back to your side to side. Step tap. Point through that toe. Good. Okay. So from here, let's keep working through that upper half. We're just going to keep the feet doing this. We're going to add a little arm circle out and around. Opening through the chest here. Good. Just swing it out. Releasing through the shoulders, relaxing through that upper back. Aha. Gorgeous. Now we're going to hold it in the center. We're going to swing both arms around. Nice big circle. Use your legs a little. Little squat here. Good. Now reverse direction. Take it out and around. You got it. And we're just going to take a little side to side step tap. Swing in the arms, back and forth. Just tapping the feet in, good. Nice. That's it. So we're using those inner thighs here to tap that toe in. Staying light on the feet. So remember, we want this to be nice and quiet so we don't disturb our downstairs neighbors if we have any. Keep it light and gentle. Very good. Now all I want you to do is double this up for me. Give me two and two. Good. Out and in. Really traveling it out. You got it. So we're going to add a little intensity by taking this into a nice quick little squat down and up. So the footwork is still the same pattern, but you're sitting back into the hips, adding a little deeper level change to help spike the heart rate. Yeah, can you feel it? Good. That's it. Down and up. Just a couple more. Down and back. Good. Let's do one more set here. Gorgeous. Step, tap, and hold. Good. Now all I want you to do is start to cross one leg back. A little tap, and I'm sort of twisting through the hips slightly. Yeah, good. Now the arms. I'm gonna come up and over, making a little arc here from side to side. Step as wide as you can, tapping behind. Good. You got it. 
really sweeping the arms up and over getting the hands high above the shoulders to help elevate that heart rate eight more seven six five good four more here three more two more now listen we're gonna do a double hamstring curl for two switch two I want you to press your hip bones forward stretch the thigh and the hip flexor and let's add the arms I want you to really pull through your back give me a little punch forward so feel that oppositional energy elbows pulling back but the hips are pressing forward aha uh -huh. pull very good and we're really curling through that hamstring there point that back foot give me single counts arms are gonna come up and down now keep pulling down through the back and front with the hips good so our music is changing a little bit a little slower tempo but that doesn't mean we're gonna drop the energy from here you're gonna give me that nice wide second position knees and toes are turned out down two three slide in go the other way down two three slide up down two three squeeze the inner thighs we're gonna add some arms to this arms reach overhead now you're gonna take it away from the heel up two three come to this hip so you're turning away from the heel that's sliding it yes good let's try a couple more at this slower pace with that triple pulse then we'll speed it up with a single tempo give me two more here get low think of the knees opening out and back get ready one down slide it up here we go down squeeze down squeeze use your inner thighs I want you to get taller as you twist maybe you can use the breath here inhale exhale feel those abdominals contract eight more seven six yes five stay with me four more twist it two more last one take it out arms overhead pulse and hold stay low how you feel you good okay so we're gonna alternate one heel the arms are gonna press down down come up switch heels so you're staying as low as you can in that plie push down through the shoulders strong strong arms here so give the air a little resistance imagine you're doing this through water here connect your shoulders to your hips good two more here now you can stay alternating or give me both heels down and lift up that's it push down as you lift up with the heels nice stay low we got it guys four more please four three two now see if you can hold it up arms overhead pulse eight seven six lift your chest four three two lower the heels turn your knees and toes forward take a deep breath good we're gonna come down rotate come back to the center other side use the abs inhale and exhale you can soften your knees as much as you need to to tap the floor safely and turn through that upper body uh-huh now we're gonna take this a little bit quicker take it down and up try to keep the back nice and neutral as you come up so it's a flat back we're using the muscles that line the spine as well as the hamstrings and glutes to stand us back up strong yes nice four three give me two more last one hands come to the thighs pulse that squat beautiful now just step it in and out we come in and out in and out good how you feel yeah I'm sweating I don't know about you so it's not hit it's not crazy intensity but we're still getting a great workout here don't beat yourself up if you're not able to do a lot of jumps or explosive movements they're great but this kind of movement is great for your body as well four more three what's peanut doing back there two she had to have her own mat 
Now we're gonna start to do a little twist. And I want you to reach down and across. So it's a little step, not a jump. Just a little switch with the feet. So one foot replaces the other. And from here, I want you to see if you can extend both arms. We're gonna bend and extend and rotate through that core body. So it's kind of like a little airplane twist. Good. If you wanna make it more challenging, get lower as you bend and extend. Keep the spine long though. Don't let it round. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling this. Eight more. Six. Four. Two. Walk and hold. Just breathe. Beautiful job. All right, guys. So we're going to go back to our side to side step tap. Nice and big. Just breathe it out. Good. Take your hands back to your hips. Check your posture. Abs in. Aha. Uh -huh. Now from here, we're going to start to lift the leg out to the side. Keep it low. Squeeze through the hips and the glutes. The arms are going to sweep up and away. Overhead. I'm turning my torso slightly away, but my leg is still out to the side of my hip. Softness in that standing knee. Reach the arms as high as you can over that head. Deep breaths. Gorgeous. Very good. Lengthen your energy out through that toe. Eight more. Six. Four. Three. Two. Last set. Step tap. Here we go. All right, we're coming back. Speeding up this tempo just a little. Coming back wide. Good. You feeling good? Excellent. Okay, so let's move on. All you're gonna do from here is take the side to side tap into a front and back tap. So I've turned into my right leg. Step tap, step tap. Good, that's it. Now we're gonna plant our weight into that front right thigh and we're gonna tap that back leg in and out. Call this our one-legged run, tap it in. Now if you can, sink a little lower into the floor to help spike that heart rate. So we start with a light toe tap. From here, we can take the knee up to the chest. Really drive it strong. Pump your arms. Uh-huh. Now we're gonna get the heart pumping just a little bit more by reaching the arms up and in with the knee. I want you to feel the abs here. Squeeze, pull that knee up into your chest. Yes, contract. Very good. Now you're gonna give me a step knee facing front, alternate it. Pull that knee as high as you can, try and tap it with the hands. Good, contract, contract. Are we having fun yet? I know Peanut is. All right, step, tap, and hold. Good, so we're gonna build that on the other side. Just turn it into your front and back step tap. So now we're facing the other way. Getting ready to set it up on the other side. Plant your weight, tap that toe, get low. Single leg run. Stay down into the floor. Whenever you're ready, drive the knee up. Really pump your arms. Try to give me a held squat on that standing leg. Now let's reach the arms up, pull into the knee. Really contract, pull your belly button into your spine as that knee drives up. A little bigger, yes, contract. Pull it up and in. Get ready to alternate the knee to the front. Here we go, squeeze, squeeze. Beautiful. Give me eight more here, it's eight. Six, and four, three, two, step tap. Woo, circle those arms. Yes. So remember, high intensity interval training, all that Tabata stuff, it's getting a lot of headlines right now. It's kind of a big trend. It's got benefits, but it's not the only way to train. There are so many benefits to endurance cardio. The number one being, it makes you feel good. That's what's most important, guys, when it comes to your fitness. If it doesn't make you feel good, it's not worth tearing down your body. 
We want to build you up. We want to make you feel strong and better than when you started. Give me both arms circle around. So that includes my workouts. Reverse direction. If any of them don't make you feel good, don't do them. Life is too short. Bring your hands to your thighs. Step in, step out. Woo! I'm sweating, all right. You guys are looking great. Let's go back to that little lunge and tap. So it's just that little step, but we get low. Let's see if we can go right into that airplane twist. Think down and twist. Rotate those propeller arms. You don't have to look at me, so relax your chin to your chest. Looking at the floor here. Eight, seven, six, five, yes. Four, three, two. Beautiful, hold and tap. Just breathe. So I wanna do one more set of that rotating twist. So we're gonna take the feet back out wide. Deep breaths, soften your knees slightly. Arms to the side, reach down and across. Lift up. So it's a little bit faster than we did last time. So maybe that means you're gonna go to your shin instead of all the way to the floor. Whatever allows you to keep that great posture and not round through the spine. That's what we wanna see first and foremost. Great posture. Twist and lift. Soften the knees as needed. Good. Use the back of the body to bring you on up. Last four, here we go. Four, three, two, one more. Walk it out, good. Holds. Doing good, guys. Gonna wipe my sweat off here, okay. So from here, we're just gonna take a one-legged passe front and passe back. Just watch me once, you can keep on marching. You point and step. I'm gonna make sure I don't step on peanut back here. So abs are tight, tall posture. I'm gonna point my foot, bend the knee, and that foot is gonna come close to the standing leg, may or may not touch it. So once you got that down, the arms are just gonna reach and pull in. It's a little coordination, I know. You're pulling down as the knee bends up. Yes, it's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach and it's about to get worse. So if this is really challenging, hang right here. If you can, now I messed it up, hold on. So we're gonna go in and twist away. Happens to me too. So it's just a little twist as the arms go up. Reach. I'm not gonna edit that out for you so you guys can see me mess up too. I'm not perfect. This is all live. Whatever happens, happens, right? Four, three, two, hold and march, walk it out. Good, so we're gonna slowly build that on the other side. So now we're gonna be passing with this other leg, getting ready, just the leg, stand on this foot, tap front and back. So you really wanna curl the toes in towards that standing leg, nice and close. So remember, we're gonna reach up and we're gonna pull down as that knee bends. Here, here, good. Sometimes one side feels like so crazy compared to the other. It's okay. It's another benefit of working out at home, right? No one can see us. So maybe our pets or our kids, but they love this kind of stuff, right? So when you can, try the twist. But if you're blowing your mind right now with that twist, leave it out. Just stay forward. Have a little fun today. Try something new. Challenge your brain a bit. Good. It's four, three, two, and one. Walk and hold it. Yeah, you made it. Awesome work, okay. Take the feet wide. Step the leg to the side. Reach it out. Beautiful, let's go back into that swing with the arms. Overhead, just breathe. Yes. Good. 
So just lift the arms as high as you can. I know it's quick. Maybe they just make it to your chest. That works too. Eight more right here. Seven, six, five. Reach that leg to the side. Four, work those hips and the thighs. Two, last set down and back. Give me that little side to side lunge. Knees and toes are forward. Three. Beautiful. We got a little figure eight sweep with the arms. So start thinking down and back. When you can, see if you can make it even bigger. A nice, big, full range of motion. Let it flow. We're so used to using our legs to get our heart rate up, right? But we can use those core body muscles and the arms to really do the job too. That's it. Lengthen. Swing. So you got some momentum here to help you take it back up and over. Good. Keep that lunge. Nice, nice. Four. Three. Two. Now we have a little squat and reach. Take the fingertips of the shoulders. Stretch up. So I'm just sitting back slightly in my hips. Down and up. We're going to build into this one too. So I want you to give me a jumping energy without leaving the floor, like this, yeah? So it feels like I'm about to take off, but I'm not leaving the ground. My heels are down, my toes are down. Reach high, yeah. Good, make sure you're sitting back in your hips. We do not want to do this. That's the knee. You want to sit back so the thighs take over, okay? Eight, six, you'll feel the difference. Four. Figure eight, let's go right into it. If you need to step back out wider, go for it. Make adjustments, make it work. So we're gonna do one more set of both those moves. We're gonna go right into the full squat and reach because you know what to do now. Not yet, it's coming up. Four, three, two, here we go, squat reach big. Get low, get high. So I'm imagining I'm jumping to the ceiling and I'm gonna touch it with my fingertips. Good, that's it, nice. Eight more, real big. Six, four, three, two, one. Step tap, good. So I don't know about you, but my heart rate got up there. Great job. Let's walk it out. Hold it, hold it. So we're just gonna do a little crossover step with the foot. We go over and over and a little shift of the weight. So I want you to think step and back, front, back, in. One, two, three. One, two, three. My hips are turning as well as my toes so we don't torque the knees. Pick up the feet a little more. Think down, down, up. Down, down, up. Down, down, up. Remember, you're still stepping light. Even if you don't have downstairs neighbors, imagine that you do. Down, down, up, that's it. Four, three, get low. Give me two more. One more. Step tap holds. Okay, guys. So let's bring the heart rate down just a bit. And we're gonna move on to a little floor series to wrap things up. Don't worry, we're still gonna keep your heart rate up. So let's just do a little walk to do our transition. So we're gonna come down to the end of our mat so we have a nice long runway in front of us. Peanut, you're done with your bone? Knees are coming together, feet are coming together. We're in a parallel stance. We're gonna sit back into a chair pose. Stand tall, pull the elbows back. Inhale and exhale. Arms reach up by your ears. Pull back with the back body, squeezing the shoulder blades. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Take it down and pull. Give me two more. Sit back as deep as you can. Keep your chest lifted. One more. Inhale and exhale, take your chair and hold it. Just hold, arms reach tall, give me a little pulse. So I'm just inching down and up 
take a second to check in with the form. Your biceps should be hugging the ears, chin to the chest, back of the neck long. You're sitting back into an imaginary chair, it's in the name. Uh-huh. Now, bring your hands to prayer right in front of your heart. And we're gonna add a little crossover with our opposite elbow. Just punch me once. We're gonna keep that pulse coming down and center, down and center. Now, if you can't quite tap the thigh, you can keep the twist a little higher. If you're ready for more, tap down, drop a little lower into that chair. Make it work. So we're feeling the thighs. But if you really think of squeezing your inner thighs together, it takes some of the pressure out of the quads. So the tops of the thighs shouldn't burn too much if you squeeze through those inner thighs. Four more, please. Four, three, oh boy, two more. Holding here, I know. Push your arms back, pump. I'll get you out in a sec. Not yet though. So using the triceps, we're gonna alternate one heel at a time. Lift, switch. So check the posture, this is a great posture exercise. Pull the shoulder blades back and together. Alternate your heels, or you know what's coming, right? Keep alternating, or give me both heels up and down, up and down. So that heart rate is staying lifted. Even though we're not jumping, not doing anything real crazy. Squeeze, good, four more. Peanuts exhausted for us. Three, and two, last one. Woo, take a deep breath in, stretch up. Take your hands back, give me a little extension for the back body. Inhale those arms back up, big stretch. Flat back forward, open your arms to the sides. Soften your knees until you can reach your, your mat or your puppy. Walk it out, full plank position. Feet are together, your inner thighs are squeezing. Now we're gonna do what I call a little plank run. You're just gonna alternate bending one knee at a time, keep your upper body nice and strong. It's one, two. Try not to let the rest of the body move. Check to make sure your shoulders are right above your hands. You're pressing away from the floor here. Good, feet are still together. Sit back, down, extend. So you're really coming back to a chair pose while still in your plank position, squeezing her thighs. Uh-huh. Four more, let's do it. Four, three, two, last one. Bend your knees, walk it back. Woo. Roll up. Take a deep breath in, stretch the arms overhead. Beautiful, guys. We're gonna sit back again into the hips. This time, I want you to see if you can cross one leg over the other. Now you can start on the floor. If it's too challenging, you stay here. If you can, sit back, opening the knees, stacking the ankle over your supporting thigh. From here, optional. Arms can come up, sit back into your hips. So it's a nice, good stretch, but you're still working that lower half and the core, and the arms, and the shoulders, and the heart rate. Deep breaths. Step your foot down carefully. Watch out, Peanut. Cross the other leg over at the ankle, or stack it high, get low. Breathe. I'm not looking at you because it's easier for me to balance if I look straight ahead. I might topple over if I look to the side. Keep breathing, I still see you though, don't worry. All right, feet together, inhale the arms up. Hands behind your hips. Deep breath in again. We're gonna come back to our planks. Soften the knees, hinge forward. Bring your hands to the mat. Peanut, take your bone back. Walk it out. Alternate that running knee. One, two. So my knees aren't even really getting close to the floor here. Just a nice, quick alternating knee. Shoulders over the hands. Keep the feet touching. Yep. Squeeze your inner thighs, squat it back to chair. Press forward. You're gonna get run over, Peanut. Sit back and squeeze. Sit back and squeeze, that's it. Four more, guys, we can do this. Four, three, two, yes, yes, one more. Hold it. 
softly come down to your knees, stretch back and release. Okay, I need you to go back to your mat, sit in child's pose, stretch everybody else. All right, we're gonna come to the hands and the knees, taking an opposite arm and leg, reach. I want you to come out and up, hold it. Bend your back knee, reach for your foot. See if you can grab a hold of it. If you can't, you're just reaching for it here. Open the chest, hold. Extend back out. Come down, switch sides. Now, make sure you are using your opposite arm and leg. If you're doing the same arm and leg, it's crazy hard. Bend it in, hold it here, or grab that foot and stretch up. Good. Release it, extend it out. Release it down. Let's have a seat. Almost there, you guys. Okay, we're gonna cross the ankles, finding our balance. Now I want you to just give me a little hinge with your fingertips starting on the floor. If you don't need your fingertips, you can reach your hands forward. Now your knees are gonna open to the sides, so we use less hip flexors, more abs. Don't let this go into your low back. Focus on that abdominal wall, pulling the knees in towards the shoulders. That's it, good. Now from here, you can keep the knees bent. We're just gonna shift from one hip to the other. If you want a little more challenge, extend the legs out straight. Again, another option would be to let go of the floor. Make sure you're going from cheek to cheek though. Don't get onto the hip, go where you have some padding. Yes. Good, switch the leg that's on top. Let's just take a little stretch. Forward and relax, breathe. I know I'm sweating, but I'm good. Okay, let's switch sides. Other leg is on top. Fingertips start on the floor, come back, zip it up. So the knees, aiming to the sides, you can reach your arms forward if you want. Focus on those abs, peanut, I'm good. Go back to your bone. Look, yeah, yeah. We make it work, right? Whether you gotta give the kids something to do or the dog, you keep going with that workout, right? Two more. Let's take it side to side, ready? Shift from hip to hip, cheek to cheek. Almost home, y'all. Keep going. Let go if you want more challenge. Stop, I'm good. Go away. Couple more. Yes, nice. Swing your legs around. Let's take a stretch. Straighten the legs out. Deep breath. Out and over your legs. Just stretch as far forward as you comfortably can. Stretch with me. Bend your front knee in. Sit tall. Look back over your shoulder. Good. Open that knee to the side. Take it up and over. Stretch. Good. So remember, you should be feeling better than when we started this workout, okay? That means we had a good one. Extend your legs out, inhale, up and over, lengthen. Come on, stretch, stretch, stretch. And come on up, bend your knee, sit tall, give it a hug. Look back over your shoulder. Open your knee to the side, stretch up and over. You can look up to the ceiling or straight down. And come on in. Bend both knees to your chest. Slowly press through the tops of the thighs. Stretch those quads. She just has to be right there. Walk your hands in front of your feet. Drop your heels slowly as you extend your legs. Lift your hips. Just let your upper body hang. Clasp your fingers together behind your back. Open the chest. Open the shoulders. Drop the head to the floor. Come up nice and slow. Lead with the heart. All right, guys, let's just take two deep breaths to finish together. Inhale, arms overhead, hands come together. Exhale through heart center. One more time, just fill up your body with oxygen and energy for whatever is left of your day. Exhale, release it. Thank you so much for spending your time and energy with me today. I look forward to sweating with you again soon. Take care, everybody.